So, it took forever, but today we are officially starting our dive into Unreal Engine. This is probably one of the most requested software you guys have been asking for many years now, but today we start our deep dive into figuring this stuff out once and for all. Now this is not just a big new step here on the channel, this is also a big step for me personally. Because if you've been following for a while, then you probably know that I'm a Unity dev. That is where all my experience is, that is where all of my biggest projects have come together. Blender, Maya, ZBrush, Substance, all those in the past were just ways to create assets and animations for Unity. And I'll be honest, part of the reason that it took so long to get to this series is because, just to be real, the idea of completely starting over from zero again is just just kind of a daunting feeling that I really don't think most people look forward to. But here in 2023, I think it's pretty clear that Unreal is the way to go. You can use it for games, animations, apps, movies, it's professional, it's powerful, it's free. I mean literally there really is no reason not to use it. Fumbling around a free rendering engine in Blender doesn't make any sense when you can fumble around an even better free engine in Unreal. And the beauty of it is, it's an engine. So no matter what type of art you are working with, whether it be in 2D, 3D, audio, or video, you can glue everything in your project together in Unreal with full confidence that it's gonna look and feel professional and amazing. And that's really the biggest reason why I finally decided to make the jump now. You know, there's gonna be a lot of new awesome tech and software that comes out that's gonna make the asset generation process of the projects much faster and easier. And if we can master this engine, and then we are gonna have a blast putting all of those assets together in ways that really have no limits other than our imagination. With that being said, this series is gonna be a little different from the usual. You know, I basically taught you things that I've been doing for years and years. But here in Unreal, I am learning this stuff as I go. And I am picking up new things every day and I will do my best to organize it into chunks of useful information and videos, but this is going to be more like me documenting what I learn as I learn it, as opposed to me sharing the techniques that I've been using in the past. And I am fully expecting to make a lot of mistakes. I'm also expecting to learn a lot from you guys here in the comments. So if any of you guys have previous experience in Unreal and you would just like to share your knowledge with the community, definitely leave a comment down below whenever you feel like it. I'm sure I speak for everyone when I say that we all really appreciate the help. And I think that's part of the fun when it comes to exploring new territory like this. Now, the goal is by the end of the year, we will have paved the way for anyone who is in our shoes today. We are going to create a quick and efficient, easily digestible format for all new people who want to start to learn Unreal. And one of the big things that I've noticed in the past few weeks of just playing around with this software is there is a huge amount of stuff that you can do without any programming knowledge or ability. And since we are primarily a 3D art and animation channel, we are going to start learning this software with all the things that you can do without programming first. So stuff like environments, foliage, 3D asset placements, those are the kind of things that we're going to start with. And once we're comfortable with these aspects, then we'll start to work our way towards more of the programming intensive things like blueprints and C++. And trust me when I say there's a lot you can do here without touching any code. So if you were just mainly hoping to see what you could do here as a 3D artist, then you're really going to want to drop by and check out the beginning of this series. All that being said, I am beyond excited to be here. The last time I felt this way was literally the first time I opened up Unity. It's been such a long time since I've tried something new like this, so I hope you guys are looking forward to figuring this stuff out with me, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.